Welcome to my testbed LP. I am about to do a project where I build my nether hub, or nether structure. Main goals of it will be to give a safe spot to, when you enter the portal, so you don't have pigmen attacking you if you happen to start a revolution. Uh, safe from gas, safe from pretty much anything there. Uh, it will in this episode I'm just going to try to get the latching door working, just a safe little area. Uh, later I will be attaching it to a minecart station and I and other stuff like on-site storage. Anyways, here we go, into the portal. Loading. Okay, here we are at my nether hub. Oh, I came out backwards. Anyways, in a relatively safe area. Worst thing I have to worry about is my portal going out or these guys starting revolution. There are not really that many right here. Normally quite a few of them. But I'll give you a quick tour of my area. If you go straight out of the portal, well, normal straight, not backward straight. Yeah, plenty of fire where gas have shot at me. I come to an overlook. Right down here is more land, but in those gaps right there, there's lakes of lava. Really pretty cool looking area. Not too awful many useful resources other than quartz and glowstone. No fortresses nearby, and too much spawning area to make a pigment spawner. But, first task is we need to set up a work area. Somewhere where we can keep our stuff without worrying about gas blowing it up. Oh, and there's another corridor this way. One well, nice thing about this area is if you do have a gas spawn close by, not only is it easy to hit them, they can't run away, but you can always get the gas tier. It's really nice. Oh, equipment I have on me real quick. So I have a diamond sword with smite 4 and looting. So if the pigmen do attack me, I have a fighting chance. Uh, just a pick. Um, bow, it can kill gas in one shot. Pretty much all it needs to do here. Uh, that I don't remember getting that actually. Uh, Ender pearl, in case I want to go somewhere. Torches, I'm not sure why I need them in the nether, but hey, I always have them. And food. You know, in this ender chest I have the rest of the materials I can carry on me. Okay. First thing we're going to do is just set up shop over here. Just creating a blast shield so that gas can't upset our storage. Nothing too fancy. Okay. I'm going to use half slabs for the actual wall so I can still see what's going on. So you know I am on a snapshot that lags out a little bit every time a block is updated, such as when I place it. So if you notice stuttering or double placing, it's probably that. Not that I can't double place, but... Now, the actual prod... no, backwards. The actual interior of the place I'm going to be making is going to be made out... See? Double place. It's going to be made out of quartz. It's supposed to be like a pure white area in the hellish region. But the outer structure is supposed to be cold, intimidating blocks. Or brick. Smooth stone blocks. Yes, that. The reason I'm doing that is not only is it structurally sound, I don't know how well quartz holds up against gas blasts, but you don't have to worry about, um, well, worry about what? I don't know. There is no stone in the nether. So it's sort of like an invader's fortress. Even if it can be a small one. No breaking. I, it can be quite fun to mine this stuff. Just irritating when you're not meaning to. Yep, there's our little blast shield. Okay. Oh. I thought I made the chest beforehand, but I guess I just got it ready for we're making. Actually, I'll show you a new feature of the snapshot. If you right click, you can drag and it'll place one in every spot. If you left click and drag, it will spread them out on those spots. But that's not what I'm doing. This stuff is important. You see, it's going to be piston doors. Oop, see? 
spreading. And I don't have the redstone. On me, anyways. Um, and they need pistons. Sticky pistons, be precise. Should probably talk a little, about, a little bit about the doors. There are going to be three high double-sided piston doors. It will have a button to toggle them open or closed, and a button on the inside and outside for momentary opening and such. And the purpose of these doors is if a revolution is started, I can hit the button, shut the doors, and I'll at least be able to enter the nether without the pigmen going loopy and killing me before I load in. I've had a lot of experiences with that. Checking time real quick. Okay. Oh yeah, cobblestone. Anyways, uh, and while they're latched down, say someone who's not offended the pigmen, they can enter and go, or you can keep it latched in case you die, and just hit the button and exit and try to go get your stuff back. Okay, is that... oh, duh. If you haven't noticed, that's how you make a piston. Rewind it if you want to see more. I don't think it's really important to show you that right now. Okay. First thing I gotta do is figure out the exact size. And what I made, there would be stairs right here. So it's one down, well, I guess two down into it. So I gotta mine this out real quick. I'll do that off camera to not bore you. Actually, no. I'll do a little bit on camera, see if I can talk through it. If not, expect a cut right here. That. See, told you it's fun to mine this stuff. Oh. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Uh, because of the program I'm using, I cannot currently record game sound and me speaking at the same time. I figured it would be more interesting if you could hear me speaking, so I went with that one. That is a ghast. Those things sound friggin' creepy, which, as I just said, you're not going to be able to hear it. But I would like it not... I put my arrows away. Ow. That's what I was worried about blowing up the chest, by the way. They don't do much explosion. Oh, come on. But it's enough. There we go. Arrows. You must have arrows if you plan to use a bow. At least one. There is enchantment. Ooh, sweet. Gas tier? Ga no gas tier, damn it. S sorry. Anyways, uh, there is an enchantment that will make it so that firing the bow doesn't actually use the arrow, but you still have to have one. Did it just bounce off the gas? Gunpowder, no tears. Gas tears make regeneration potions. And it's not that it's hard to get from a gas, it's just the gas tend to die over that. Or worse, over lava lakes. So it's not always worth going and getting it. And regen potions can be really useful when you're having like a pigmen revolution. Or if you just want a stockpile of cool weapons to use against your friends. Yeah, uh, fires will not uh, spread to nether rack, but it will also not go out when it is on nether rack, such as when a gas has been shooting at you. Hey, good thing I didn't stop recording. Anyways, I'm going to be putting stone around this because, well, this stuff is fragile. I don't want to be putting redstone on it. And it will also, well, it's just better if you line your your stuff so you don't accidentally mine up underneath it when working in caves you want to at least use cobblestone or something to do it otherwise you're punching through and you just punch through something that stops something from exploding and I'm gonna have to mine a lot more than that so I, I should be safe in this hole I'll quit recording for now I'll be back when I have it cut out and I'm back Areas cut out should be about 12 by 10. I'll be adding more stuff on the sides later, but for for now I just need the entry hall and the gate. Now, I don't know if you guys can note 
can see it. But when I was cutting this out, it struck me how very grave-like it was. Like I was digging my own grave. What it gone all but rather pointless. Anyways, I've been hearing this gas. Oh, I better eat. So you know, gas can put out that portal when they hit it. So I made sure I have flint and steel on my ender chest so that I can put it back on. Had that happen earlier to me when I didn't have them. Had to kill myself so that I could go get my stuff. Anyways, come here, ghast. Ghast, 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 ghast. Any guesses to where the ghast is? I, I like alliteration. Well, as long as they're not shooting at me, I guess I'm fine. Creepy as they may be. Oh, I saw my thingy right there and I saw it was a ghast for a moment. Sprint! Sprint! Anyways, this... Well, now it looks like a swimming pool. Should I fill it with lava? Call it a hot tub? Anyways, now we're gonna dump the stuff we have. Nether, always expect to die. Oh, I got some cords while mining. Always expect to die, so dump your stuff very frequently. Normally I'd have a fire resist potion on, but I'm not actually near lava, so it wasn't worth using the magma creams. Okay, we want... I have more brick with me, so if I run out, that's fine. Oh. Yeah, it's tempting almost to make a swimming pool in the nether. I can't have water, otherwise I'd do it. Not here, but I'd put one in somewhere. Nether resort? For an unearthly vacation, maybe? Anyways, brick should take any gas blast that... Gas blast sounds like, like gas pass. Anyways, it should take any uh, gas blast. Oh, that was quick. Good thing I have a lot of this stuff. Yes, on the server I'm on... Uh, well, real quick, in Minecraft there's... It generates three strongholds per world based around the spawn area. And they... They have the portal to the end where you fight the Ender Dragon. Has end stone. Nice little dimension, sort of like this. But it also has two unique blocks. Mossy stone brick and cracked stone brick. Friend was kind enough to give those to me. But in the process, I got a whole lot of this stuff. So, I'm pretty much set for this for a while. Though I'm actually eating through it pretty quick. Had about, like, a double chest and a half. Uh, maybe it was two. Anyways, doesn't matter. You guys don't care. Out again. Oh, good. This will be the base on which we'll work. Really probably didn't have to cut all this out first. I hear a gas. I'm going to make sure it's not nearby. Anyone see a gas? Ah, there it is. Ow, 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 ow. I thought I ran under it. Guess the guess guess. It missed, I missed. Well, that's not exactly what I want my arrow to do. Give me arrow. I'm gonna get you. Trying to start a friggin' revolution. Gotcha. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Ooh, that's some nice glowstone. I'll just have to remember that area for later. And, no, I'm not going to use it yet. I could see myself landing in some fire. Having access to Ender Pearls is rather spoiling. I have, like, three double chests of these back home, plus some. So I can use them as I want. Okay, here's the bottom of our swimming pool. Let's see, what should I use for the layers here when I want to just fill in? Cobblestone, maybe? Another blast resistant material that I don't have that much of. There's my quartz. 
Hmm. Maybe I'll just use stone brick. I've just got, just said how much I have. Alright, deck, 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 deck. I really want to kill him. <laughs> that would not be smart. Alright, I think I'm going to be doing these test videos in about 10 minute segments. Which would put me at about 10 minutes now, I think. So, I shall see you guys next time. Or, like, in a few minutes, probably. See you then.